Hello again. I was just filming yesterday, but this is my first leftover video. But it's a good one. Don't get fooled by the Swiss t-shirt, by the way. That's just a drinking team. It's not going to be a Swiss dish with lots of cheese. So, no, no. We're going to do farfalle tonate. That means, basically, farfalle pasta, which is bow ties. You see? Like bow ties, okay. Um, and those go very well. Then we have Italian parsley. Very little amount of these beautiful, look how tiny these little tomatoes are. They're beautiful. Black olives, and these are Spanish ones, so um, they're left from our, from our Spanish carbonara, but they're very good. And I've been accused that I'm doing everything with olives, but hey, listen, you don't have to put them. So you can put garlic, you can put whatever you want, tarragon, whatever you want. All right. And cayenne, a little bit. This cayenne is beautiful. And of course, the star is salsa tonata, the tuna tonata tonato sauce. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, the wine has to be white and I have paid for it. It's proven. So... We are going to cook the farfalle tonate. All right, here we go. Um, 180 grams, usually uh, it's 100 grams a person I do, but I want to be a little bit on the slimmer side today. So for two, you can put 200. Again, how much you really put is going to be your decision and your cooking business. While our pasta is cooking nicely, Let's add these little tomatoes and olives. Not too much. Because, and then we'll just let them fry for a sh short little while only. I'm going to add a little bit of vino bianco white wine. All right, that gives it a nice flavor. The usual pepper. No salt. There is enough salt in that sauce. You don't need to put the salt. Okay, scooping the pasta always with a little bit of cooking water right into the pan. Mm, sizzle, 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 sizzle. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. And just mix it a little bit and cook it for a while. Take the starch from the pasta and make our own little its own little cream. Now for this tonato sauce, so that we're clear here, <laughs> teacher talking, it's like pesto or when you do a salmon with cream, you add that at the very end, you do not or you shall not and please do not cook this tonato sauce. It's not made for cooking. All right, these are ready. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I added another scoop because they started sticking. Do not allow that. Don't let them stick. Don't let them stick. Now I'm going to cut off the heat completely. Boom! Just like I did with the carbonara or what I would do with the pesto or what I would do with um, salmone, salmon and cream pasta. And now we're going to again wait just a little while, maybe 30 seconds before we add the sauce. If this is too hot, my friends, it ain't gonna taste good. Here we go. Donato sauce, mm, yummy guys. Yummy, one cup, no kidding, no saving. Look at that, ooh, look at that. Now, parsley, Italian one, please. Fantastic. Now you tell me, huh? Ooh, and the smell of tuna and all that. It's gorgeous. Lovely. As you see, I did not cook this sauce and now we're gonna put it on a plate because I'm hungry. And yes, this is all for me. That's why I'm so slim and trim. And the only last thing we're going to do is put a little bit of the cayenne. I like everything a little bit with a zest. Et voilà! 
Farfalle Donato. Oh, man. Digging into this Farfalle Donato. Mm. People, if you like tuna, I was playing with the thought to put some chunks of tuna on top. I'll do that next time. And for the tonato sauce, which I didn't mention, uh, you saw it in my last video. You can do exactly the same procedure because that's the same sauce. I just refrigerated it overnight. So it's your tuna, your, your um, anchovies, your sparkling wine, your vegetable broth, your capers, etc. But you can look it up. And the latest one. So I, mm, mm. why is it always messy when I eat? Damn it. Okay. Cheers, guys. Subscribe. Please like, please comment, please comment. I want you to comment, even if you don't like it or you want to change something about it. I will respond to everybody, okay? And, you know, share so that people can see that. Very, very easy dish. Takes literally like five to six minutes, um, say 10 minutes with the pasta. And you're ready to go for a fantastico lunch here. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have to go eat and drink. So, your Mr. Chef. Ciao, Michi.